My name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and I will be demonstrating for you today. I will be demonstrating for you the plotting of a cross section of a roadway. As you could see the procedure is uh, shown and I'm not going to go through the procedure with you. I'm just going to go through the plotting of it and you could read the procedure on your own. When we look at uh, information that we are what that we need to actually plot we need uh, some given information horizontal scale and vertical scale this information is given as 1 to 200 horizontally and because uh, we are plotting on a metric profile paper this means 1 centimeter on the paper is equal to 200 centimeter actual we don't plot in centimeters we plot in meters so we have to change this component to meters the conversion factor between centimeter and meter is 100 so I'm going to divide this by 100 and I'll get 2 meters so 1 centimeter on my my drawing is equal to 2 meter horizontally and likewise the vertical scale is the same thing 1 centimeter vertically is equal to 50 centimeters we don't plot in centimeters we plot in meters we're going to divide that 50 by 100 and get 0.5 meters so that that is very important for plotting when we look at existing ground information we need the left right away and the right right away limits we need those elevation and we need the center line elevation also this is uh, this is given information and uh, I'll show you where to to find that design information we need to either calculate or we're given the left and right ditch invert the center line so we need uh, the design information of left and right ditch invert and center line some other information that we need is the road crossfall or known as the crown in some cases uh, it is from the drop off from center line to the shoulder of the roadway so each side of center line you're gonna have a shoulder and that drop off is going to be 0.2 of a meter. When we look at the, the ditch crossfall, it's going to be the same 0.2 of a meter, and that is from the toe of the side slope to the ditch invert. The road width is 16 meter, so it'll be 8 meter on each side of center line. And we have the right of way limit uh, as being 48 meters, so we're going to have 24 meters on each side of center line again. When we look at our existing ground information, we are going to be plotting every full station. Zero is considered to be a full station, so we're going to plot zero, one plus zero, zero, two plus zero, zero, and every 100 meters, we're going to plot a cross section. What we have is the left prairie or left right away limit, center line, and right right away limit. So these columns are given information for the existing ground. Let's look at the parts of uh, a roadway. We have the existing ground that's given by the gray line here and we have the roadway, the top of the road. This is the highest point is considered to be the crown. The shoulder is right there and we have a crossfall of 0.2, the difference between here and here. We have the side slope and the toe of the side slope is right there. We have the ditch invert and we have our left right away limit. The right side will be the same thing. Anytime that we do um, a plot of a cross section, we have to put the station number right about that location. The X will be right on center line. Let's go and plot the existing ground and those are three points and I should explain about uh, the white circle around the point. Those are given information. If, it, if it's a solid circle, a solid plot point, that means that you've calculated it. Okay? Uh, you don't have to do this and you don't have to put the elevations here either. This is because I am doing a demonstration. I want the message to get across to you. You need one elevation on the side that's a, a whole number on your grid paper and you could have more than one it's not going to cost you any marks or anything but you should have a minimum of one 
you don't again have to have the elevation of each one of these points. To go and get these elevations so that we could plot it, anytime that we plot, we have to have a horizontal and a vertical component, an X and a Y. In this case, we know we're going to just pick a, a convenient point on our paper and then we're going to use that as our center line, even on each side. You have to have a minimum of 24 meters on each side, so you have to pick the proper point for your center line. So that gives us a horizontal uh, a X value and we're given this particular uh, elevation which is your Y value you could go and plot that point. We know that 24 meters over here and 24 meters over here will be our X value. We're given these elevation. We could go and plot those points. Where do we get these elevation from? We come in here because I'm plotting station 0 plus 0, 0. I'm going to get these three elevation and plot them up. This is right on center line, 24 meters to the left, 24 meters to the right. And that is what we have at this location. After that, we need to go and look at the design information because that's the next step. Um, we're going to do the design on this particular uh, station or cross section. In this column, you have the station listed and between 0 plus 0, 0 and 1 plus 0, 0 for the left ditch invert. I have a plus grade of 1.200%. I want to know the rise, because this is plus, I want to know the rise from this elevation to station 100. How do I get that? I take the percent grade divided by 100, and uh, then I would multiply it by the horizontal difference between the two stations. The horizontal distance is 100, so I'm dividing by 100, I'm multiplying by 100, I'm going to get 1.20 meter. 1.20 meter right there okay so I'm going to take that 1.20 meters I'm going to add it to 317.8 and I'm going to get this particular elevation at station 100 if I take 1.20 meter add the 0.2 meters to this it will give you 218 plus another meter 219 or 319 sorry 319 not 219 319 is the elevation there. Let's do one more. We want to get the center line design elevation for station 1 plus 0, 0. We know that at 0 plus 0, 0, the design elevation is 319.8. I'm going to take the 1.20%. I'm going to divide it by 100, multiply it by 100. I'm going to get 1.2 again. I'm going to add it to 319.8. If I add 0 0.2 to 0 0.8, we're going to get 320 plus the 1, 321. That's going to be the elevation of that point. Okay. Again, the um, some of the information that I discussed already is stated down here also. So we've gone through, through that already. It is recommended that you create a table, and I've just done the left side of center line here we're given the elevation the design elevation of the center line which is 319.8 I could figure out the uh, the shoulders minus 0.2 from that will give you 0.6 so 319.6 will be the elevation of my shoulders I know the horizontal component of these so I don't have to worry about that I could just go and plot them up the next thing that we we have is uh, our left right away limit and we have our ditch invert those uh, were calculated back here we're given the ditch invert and uh, the left right away limit was given back here right there okay so we know those points we've calculated this this is not all the calculation that you, you would do. And I, again, it works very well if you do these calculations before you start plotting. I am demonstrating so it makes uh, sense that I do it as I go along. So you could see that you come up with a whole set of information. Okay.
we could go and use the information in the chart that we just saw, plot the um, center line, the design center line at 319.8. We could drop off by 0.2, we'll get 319.6. 319.6 will be both of the shoulders. 319.6 will be both of the shoulders. They drop off from center line the same amount. We know that the X component from center line will be 8 because your road width was 16. So we have 8 meters on each side. So we could plot that up. That's not a problem. The next thing that we're going to go and do is our back slope. We want to place our back slope in here. Okay. To place the back slope, we know the ditch invert. We know that. But we don't have a horizontal component here. We don't know how much to come in or how much to come over from the center line. I'm going to calculate the distance, how much we're going to come in, so that we could have both our x and our y value, and we could plot the point. To get that particular vertical height here, right, I'm going to subtract my ditch invert from my left right away limit, and I'm going to get the vertical height. According to my slope, the vertical height is 1, the horizontal is 2. So whatever number I get for my vertical, I have to multiply it by 2, and I'll, I'll have my horizontal leg of this triangle. Our vertical leg is gotten by just subtracting the two numbers. It, the calculator, calculation is shown down here, and you multiply by 2, and you get 2.96. So that 2.96 is from my right-of-way limit to my my ditch invert. So I have 2.96 in. I'm going to point plot 317.8. Three, 2.96 in, 317.8 is going to be my elevation. I could put in my my back slope. And remember, all design information is done with straight edge and a red pen. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is go and find my toe of side slope. To find the toe of my side slope, I know that my ditch invert elevation is 317.8. I know that the cross fault here, the cross fault here for the bottom of ditch is 0.2. I'm going to add 0.2 to 317.8. I'm going to get 318 as my elevation. Again, I don't know the horizontal component here. I have to figure it out. I have to figure out the horizontal leg of this particular triangle right in here. I'm going to take this elevation, subtract it from my shoulder elevation, which is 319.6, which is shown down here. I'm going to multiply it by the horizontal component of the slope, and I'm going to get 4.8 meters. Now I could go and plot this point. It is going to be 4.8 meters from the shoulder to this point, and the elevation will be 318.00. I could then join all of these points with uh, red pen and straight edge. And basically, I'm, I'm finished with the left side of my roadway. The right side will be very similar procedure to get the right side. When we look at uh, the table or chart that we should create, we have the center line elevation, we have the shoulder, we have the horizontal distance from center line, and we have the horizontal distance from, uh, from the shoulder to the toe of the side slope. So whichever one you want to use, you could use it. We have here the toe of the side slope elevation. So we have your X component, your Y component. And then when we go to our ditch invert, we have our horizontal component again, and this one is from from the right away limit, this one is from center line, and we have our elevation. So we have our X and our Y component. Okay. I hope that this demonstration will help with your uh, plotting of uh, cross sections, and I hope that uh, you get a high mark on your, your project. Thank you. Bye-bye.